All right. I'm going to just connect with Mr. D.P. Singh, Deputy Managing Director and Chief Sir with SBI Mutual Funds. Uh, SBI Mutual Fund is now the biggest mutual fund in India. The size at which they are growing, it is a clear indication of strategy, product launches, and also advantage uh, of the brand and branch and the brand they have. Mr. Singh, last time when we spoke to you, you gave us a tall number in terms of where the size of SBI AMC would be. We argued that how will you achieve it? But you're on course to almost double it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I think uh, we, we set out a number and uh, we are already 40% uh, above that. And from here on, if we do another 40%, we'll be achieving the number which we committed to you. Growth coming from small towns, more players from existing who are increasing their uh, exposure. Where is the growth coming from? No, growth is coming from all across. See, see we, we don't, we never uh, think that, that we are the market sharers, we are the market makers. We are creating market, we are um, uh, see, uh, leading uh, with, with great margin in the uh, smaller towns, uh, B30, what you call it. And uh, see, top 30 also, we are, we are increasing our market share. We are getting more and more number of new customers into the market. Thanks to the to the parent uh, who are uh, having a foothold in, in across the country. And when we look at our data, when uh, we see that we are getting business from 94, 95% of the pin codes of the country, that gives us a lot of solace. So it's, it's Bharat which is getting us money. It's we are serving everybody. Every uh, niche in the in the investment uh, arena is is uh, with us. Uh, maybe it ultra HNI or HNI or a retail investor or a small trader or uh, a, a laborer. So so we were getting uh, when uh, SIP is uh, from 500 rupees to five lakh rupees. So that is the kind of uh, uh, numbers we are we are we are getting. So so we we are very very. Uh, happy and satisfied with the kind of numbers and the, with the quality of numbers rather with the with the numbers per se but the quality of numbers is very good coming up with two new equity index funds mid cap and small cap up until now the index funds are largely uh, large benchmark dominated for example nifty 50 or bank nifty why are you coming out with the index fund for mid and small cap See, there are two. One is on the active side, we have to pick up the stocks which we feel the universe is very limited for us, which we can follow. And see, then again, there's there's a uh, capacity constraint, there's a liquidity constraint. So we thought in addition to the small cap active fund which we're having, and we have a constraint of getting lump sum money. So we thought of coming out with the small cap uh, 250 index. Where uh, somebody, I mean, the one thing is very clear that small cap index is outperforming uh, and hopefully will continue to outperform the uh, the normal benchmark which you talk about Nifty 50 or banking, etc. Because more and more new businesses are coming, very good management uh, uh, companies are coming. They are coming out with the new ideas, new set of uh, see businesses are growing. So so this Nifty, next, uh, this, uh, sorry, small cap index, will give us uh, a, a leeway that, that we can get money. Anybody who wants to take a call on the small cap uh, um, per se, that they, they can get into this without any limitation of the, the, the amount. And uh, second, see, liquidity will be easier here. That there will always be some liquid stocks. So in case of any, any redemption or something, that will not be a problem. So this is very good and very cost effective as well. Just to understand the structure here, these are index funds, which means I'm assuming that the charge here would be significantly less than what you actually charge in active schemes? Yeah, it will be lesser than that. It uh, Significantly lesser, definitely. But it will not be like uh, the Nifty 50 or uh, C-Sensex uh, ETFs, because here the, the the cost of acquisition plus then, then the, see, of course, the, the tracking error will be much more than those because those are mirroring 100%. Here, if we, we are having a little higher uh, tracking error also, that, that's fine. But but uh, yes, since these are to be intermediated, there has to be, you have to take care of all the stakeholders because in our business, there are three stakeholders, manufacturer, the distributor, and the, the investor. So it has to be win-win for all the three because there's an acquisition cost involved. 
people have to advise people have to intermediate anyhow for for the regular for the direct plan uh, the the cost will be very very significantly lower than the normal one so i have to if one has to choose between a mid cap actively managed fund versus a mid cap index fund what is a better idea because you have both the products no both have their own pros and cons see in the, in the active fund uh, the, the uh, whole hog research went into the, the, the within the uh, mid cap stocks we we do research on the stocks and uh, we uh, visit companies we we have a very very close interaction with the management teams we we follow the uh, businesses being done by the company there a lot of efforts which goes into an active fund the whereas in the in the in the passive fund we just have a universe and you have to put it there period so the the efforts are less so the cost is also less but you get the benefit of the overall because uh, we can't say that that whatever our universe will be will continue to be the best performing because for now if we have got 300 to 400 stocks which are in our universe in the active side we can't really claim that these are the best of the whole company and there could be some companies which may give very good results but if you are in an index fund you will get the benefit of the growth in those as well so so uh, both have their own pros and cons i think it has to be a hybrid active and passive both and if i have got 100 rupees i will definitely like to put uh, 20 to 30 rupees in the passives and remaining in actives as of now one looks at let's say a very simple way of diversification can i say that buy one nifty etf one mid cap and one small cap and large part of your uh, diversification in equity market is taken care of and is that the thought behind uh, this uh, these two new nfos see uh, generalizing uh, this statement is very very difficult because of course we we are uh, of a very firm opinion that alpha generating uh uh sis stocks are still there in the market which are to be researched which are to be there active will continue to grow at least for next 5 uh, years to 10 years uh, the kind of new businesses which are coming which need to be researched so we don't want people to be uh, caught in in some something which which is uh, not being properly researched so there is there is a space for both to continue yes what you are talking about i mean uh, large uh, nifty sensex and mid cap whatever passive uh, portion in my allocation is there yes if you do that that is clear but as i said earlier if i got 100 rupees i will allocate 30 to 40 rupees overall into the passives remaining i will uh, keep it in the actives only because i still firmly believe that active will continue to give uh, out, outperform the, uh, the the index funds this is saying globally lot of chatter is on that index investing is the best and the cheapest way to create long term wealth but in india it's different etfs are not that popular they are not that large and active active funds have done a reasonable job if you look at a long cycle of meeting the benchmark so do you think that is something which needs to be understood that while index fund is important but active schemes also have a long long way to go yeah that that that's there because see the uh, is is the in the cycle in the growth of the economy where we are at as a moment I mean there are so many new businesses are coming and we need to research those companies when the new age companies are coming we need to research them and see what is good what is not good what can give a much better return than the index so that that capability and that uh, see possibility is very much there in the and the economic cycle where we are uh, today and second is that this our benchmarks are a little uh, skewed like we have got uh, one uh, side we have got only 50 stocks and the other uh, we have only 30 stocks which are the main 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 stocks are there if you look at uh, the us uh, the s&p 500 is there are 500 stocks in that so that covers lot of uh, see, see, uh, things and today whenever especially our um, market is also driven by fia and fba fba flows and whenever somebody comes from outside the first by the uh, main uh, the, the the flagship uh, say index funds or black flagship etfs so they get into these 50 stocks or 30 stocks so the lot of money automatically comes into the, these stocks but but uh, whereas the universe is uh, too big uh, more than 7000 listed companies are there 
but the main benchmarks are only 50 companies so 50 companies or top 100 companies so there is uh, so much room uh, in the in the remaining uh, other than these 100 companies and uh, uh, definitely a lot of research is required things are moving towards that when we uh, get more money into the index funds and that is why today we are launching the uh, the five passive funds uh, all put together three on the debt side and two on the equity side so so that that's that the thought process is that only that there will be a space people will more and more people will uh, get into the index funds that's why we are making it available uh, to the to the citizens of the country all right, Mr. Singh, really appreciate your time and uh, so glad you could join us. Good luck with the new schemes. Thank you, Nikhil. Thank you very much. The markets merit our attention.